Hi stylist, I'm Louise Rowe and uh, we are talking BAFTA Beauty. I'm here with Long Kong's brand new, right, UK makeup artist ambassador, Alex Babsky. Hi. And you've just done my face, which I love. Good. Um, and we're going to talk about some of our favourite products. Even um, Lancome's made a special BAFTA blusher. Yep, it's their, I think it's their best selling blusher, Rose Sable, which comes now in a, with a little BAFTA invite packaging. Really cute. Cute little pink that kind of suits it. Well. That's very nice. Although today on you, we've used a slightly deeper one, Rose Boise. Okay. You can do a little more. Quite warm. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, make it just slightly warmer than it used to be Now, the difference, I guess, because today um, or this weekend there are some cocktail parties and more daytime events and things, whereas on Sunday, um, all dressed up in the evening, a bit more dramatic. What are we going to do? Well, uh, you talked briefly about the dress you have, which is quite for long, quite yeah, long, right? quite dramatic. So I think what we're going to do is uh, a smoky eye, you said you kind of quite like the sound of. So there's some brown in your dress, right? So we're going to do like a, a smoky but still soft, flattering brown eye and probably not much else, keep everything else looking quite fresh so that it's not overpowering, you know. Um, yeah, kind of a, a nude lip to go with that and I'd say that's probably enough. This is my new favourite um, lip yeah. colour. Can we talk about that? Because so I'm not big, I'm big on dramatic eyes and then the lip I like to keep fairly natural. Yeah, this was like ideal for you, wasn't it? We tried it. What's it called? It's, it's number 211. Okay. It has got a name actually, Beige Rose. Mm. Uh, and it's so spot on for your lip colour that I didn't even want to put a lipstick over it because it, it is absolutely yeah, spot on. So, that's a good tip. Um, you're allowed to use what essentially is a liner. Yeah. Just on its own. You yeah, don't have to all use over it your lips. A... And also using it all over your lips underneath the lipstick will make the whole thing last longer anyway. Okay. So it's a good idea to not just line your lips with a liner, but put it all over. It's a good red carpet tip. Or if you're just not doing red carpet, but just going out to dinner <laughs> and eating and drinking, I suppose it's quite good. Yeah. And would you block that and then reapply? Um, generally with a liner, I'm less likely to block because it's a drier texture anyway, which is what makes it last longer. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I'd put a lipstick over it and then block the two together and probably apply maybe one or two times more. What about skin? What are some of the trends on the carpet? Because I actually tan seem to be less of a big thing in, in Hollywood for the red carpet yeah. season. Um, now I feel like it's much more kind of fresher looking really. Uh, and for me, I feel like if you're doing a more dramatic makeup like perhaps we're going to do on Sunday, doing something that's otherwise fresher and softer, not so done, in a way legitimizes yes. having more of a look because it's, it's it, you might have a more dramatic overall makeup, but it's based on much fresher skin rather than tanned or very done skin. So in a way, it kind of gives you more room to add more charm if you like. Yeah, that makes sense. So what about the um, the foundation or serum, or how do you prep the skin? Uh, I prep the skin with a lot of cleanser first, as we did on you, and rather than dewiness, I today, and probably on Sunday, will do a slightly matter finish. Um, this tanned doll is, uh, has a matte finish to it, only because once I send someone out to the red carpet, I can't touch up, yeah. they're not retouched, I can't be sure of the lighting, so if I can just do an even velvety finish rather than anything too shiny or dewy. Still natural, but just erring on the side of matte rather than dewy. So, so thank you very much. Not at all, thank you. I've enjoyed making up very much. So we're doing brown smoky eye, fuller lash, Yep. Bit of a sort of peachy blush. Yep, and then a, a nudie lip. Amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. Thanks, bye.